All right, here's where we're at. The wall is pretty dry now, dry enough to do stuff with. The screen and the entertainment center are assembled. Uh, the screen was a scratch and dent from Amazon. It was uh, from Amazon Warehouse in acceptable condition and it actually has more blemishes than I was expecting. It's got a couple of holes where it looks like it was pierced with something and it's got this black mark right here. Uh, a couple of little marks I wanna clean up, but I think from a normal viewing distance, I don't think it'll be a big deal and we saved like $120 by going with it. So I think it was probably the right decision still. Uh, but now I am gonna install all the speakers and get the screen ready to hang. Speakers are in. Uh, they came out better than I was expecting I would be able to do, to be perfectly honest. Um, I'm pretty happy with them. So now the next step is we got to get the screen up onto the wall and I'm probably not going to film this because I'm going to need my wife's help and there's probably going to be lots of talking and going back and forth. And it's really, it's not that complicated mechanically. It's just, I got to figure out how on earth we're going to do it. So. Uh, that's what I'm going to work on now. And then I guess I will <laughs> cut this back on when there's something to show you guys. All right. So I certainly skipped a couple steps. Uh, but here, here's what the room's looking like now. Now I skipped a couple steps cause my wife and I wanted to work on some of the parts together. And I didn't really want her to feel like she had to be on camera the whole time, you know, performing or anything like that. And then also I was kind of getting tired and wanted to watch a movie. So I wanted to go ahead and get it set up. So I'm going to show you in a minute here, uh, some clips of, you know, uh, the lights off and everything. Cause right now, of course, this is going to look a little bit washed out, but I'll just walk you through how I've set up the room for now. So some of this is temporary. So first, uh, back here, I haven't hooked up the surround speakers yet. The coffee table's not in use. Still got some like canvases and stuff sitting back there. Still have some tools sitting out. Uh, these lights, of course, were over shelves in the old room. So I haven't, or the old setup from the previous owners. I haven't really got those configured yet. Uh, and of course I still have stuff sitting out. That uh, tripod is so I can show you some clips of how everything looks in a few minutes. I haven't installed the shelves yet in the entertainment center. I'm gonna do that later. Uh, but for now, I have the shield and the switch over here. I've got the uh, temporary receiver or my current receiver in the middle and the PlayStation 4 Pro on the side there. And then of course there's the sub. So that's temporary setup. Uh, I'm gonna install the shelves. I've got the new receiver on the way. I'm gonna be hooking up the Xbox and the PlayStation, but I need the new receiver to properly pass everything through. Uh, I went through a couple HDMI cables, trying them till I got one that worked the best. And of course I haven't run all the wires or anything but this is a monoprice premium HDMI cable. So far that's working very well. Um, let me see what else. Obviously reflections off the ceiling are pretty noticeable. You'll see that in a minute. Um, the black wall definitely helps. We've got plans to build like a surround thing or a, um, like a velvet cross piece that would block, uh, block like this ugly gray look when the lights are off. That's something I've never had masking bars. That's what they're called masking bars. Um, now I did save about 50, 40 or 50% on this screen. Cause I got one from Amazon warehouse in, uh, I think it was called used acceptable condition. And I would call it acceptable. It looks like something pierced the screen at two, a couple different points. It pierced the roll cause it came rolled up. So you can see it in a couple different places. And there's this black mark on the screen right here. Now, when you're actually watching a movie, you really don't notice that stuff. And I'm generally, I'm pretty picky and I don't notice it. I do have a plan to get the black mark off. Um, I think I'll be able to do that. I've already gotten some of it off and it looks pretty good. And then the holes, I just, I don't think it's something you're going to notice. So if I notice it, I can come up with some way to patch them and it won't be an issue. Uh, bigger issue, which you probably won't see in the video footage I show you of like some actual demo stuff in here, uh, is I can see the screws 
on the speakers through the screen. And that's because the screen did not come with the black backing material it's supposed to have. So an acoustically transparent screen does not block a ton of light. So a lot of light goes through it and it reflects off stuff behind the screen and then can come back. So uh, I'm just gonna email the company. I'm sure they'll send me a black backing thing because that was supposed to come with it. Not a big deal. Uh, right now I'm using this carpet uh, that we've had for a while. I'm using this rug to hide uh, cables. I'm probably still gonna do that. I've got a bunch more cables I'm gonna need to run. But, you know, I haven't tucked all that stuff up yet. I've pretty much just been running this as is for a while because I wanted to kind of see how much we liked it and what I needed to change and everything before I really locked everything down. So, obviously, a new couch or additional seating is on the list of things we want to do. We want to get a cushion for that Papasan chair so we can use that. Um, you know, we want to be able to seat like five or six more people in here at least. So... That's something we'll be working on. Um, obviously getting the surround speakers run, getting the height speakers set up. Uh, my plan for the height speakers. Well, I won't try to pull all that out now, but uh, basically I'm gonna have some either dropped out of the ceiling or I might go ahead and put some in wall or in ceiling speakers, install those. I can't really decide. Um, I don't really wanna cut these if I can avoid them because they're gonna be a little bit of a pain in the butt to cut but it certainly would look nice, but it's cheaper if I get just uh, some regular speakers and just drop them out of the ceiling a little bit. So not sure which direction I'm gonna go, but I am pretty committed now. I'm gonna do a 5.1.2 setup and I'm considering doubling the height speakers because I do wanna have two rows of, seal of seating. So I'd have the, the two Atmos channels would be represented both on that side of the HVAC tunnel and on this side. So it would be a more immersive height experience, uh, but it wouldn't be uh, actual discrete channels. But I don't think that's gonna be a problem. Again, just moving to Atmos should be a big jump. And I didn't wanna spend the extra $400 on a receiver just to get the extra channel processing. I'm just, I don't think that's imp that important. I could always swap the receiver out at some point in the future if I change my mind, but I'm not really worried about that. Um, overall, the sound is awesome now of course this is a pretty budget receiver i'm using it with now and i haven't done a full calibration but the sound is exactly what i was going for it sounds big uh the sound separation between the left center and right channels it actually doesn't separate that much other than everything being very distinct but it does just seem like all the sound is coming towards you out of the screen and that's exactly what i wanted uh, dialogue all appears to be in the right place um, the receiver has no problem driving the center channels at 16 ohms. If you remember, I took two 8 ohm speakers and then ran them in as a 16 ohm load. Now the new receiver will be able to run a 4 ohm load, so I'm gonna run them in parallel instead of in series. So I'm gonna get a 4 ohm load on the center, give me a lot more headroom. Uh, of course, I gotta do all the cable tucking, we talked about that, but yeah. I don't wanna bore you too much, I'm gonna go ahead and put up some demo clips on the screen. Um, now you're gonna have to keep in mind that since the camera and the projector aren't synced up, uh, you're gonna get the weird rainbow effect going across the screen. There's nothing you can do about that. And obviously you can't get really get an idea of how good something looks or sounds by watching a demo somebody made on the internet. So just calibrate your expectations based on that. But what you can hopefully see is the problem areas I still wanna address being the ceiling, uh, the reflectiveness of the ceiling, uh, the reflectiveness of the entertainment center, and the need for masking bars on the screen. And all of that is not to say that this looks bad. This does not look bad. Uh, this looks fantastic. Even with no other treatment in the room, uh, I think this is a very good looking setup, especially for what I would consider to be a relatively budget big home theater setup. Uh, but the additions I wanna make should make it look even better. And uh, I'm gonna keep these demo clips to show you after I've finished making all the modifications I wanna do. And so you guys can let me know what you think, so.
Did you ever choose not to? The end no one was feared is coming. And the blood will be on your hands. The fallout of all your good intentions. You had a terrible choice to make in Berlin. One life over millions. And now the world is at risk. This is the CIA's mission. If he had held on to the plutonium, we wouldn't be having this conversation. His team would be dead. Yes, they would. That's the job. You need to walk away. Please don't make me go through you. How many times has Hunt's government betrayed him, disavowed him, cast him aside? How long before a man like that has had enough? Maybe we need to reconsider that. Now you know. Same old Ethan. What the hell is he doing? I find it best not to look. Shackles. Let's just get this over with, shall we? We have a mission for you. A major weapons test is imminent. We need to know how to destroy it. If you're really doing this, I want to help. Good. Good. I've been recruiting for the rebellion for a long time. You destroyed our home! By the Empire now. I fear nothing. All is as the Force wills it. The captain says you are a friend. I will not kill you. Thanks. There isn't much time. Every day they grow stronger. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed the demos. And uh, the next videos are going to be coming out on like a longer release cycle as I do individual projects. So I've got other things I want to do, uh, but you know I've got to work through them one at a time. I don't haven't done them all in a series like I did with these first five videos. So uh, they'll come out as I make more modifications. Same thing as doing anything to my office or my garage. If you follow my car channel, Never Ending Project Garage, um, link to that. I'll put in the description if anyone's curious. Uh, as always, all the parts I used are in the description if anyone wants to check them out. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.